Sego Sewagwego, Erika Niyunga. Hi everybody, my name is Erika and I work for Jijunhat Ungulwana Language and Cultural Center in Tayendinaga. Today I'm going to show you how to make a corn husk doll. To get started, you'll need scissors, string, and corn husks that have been soaking in warm water for 10 to 15 minutes. You'll also want a towel to lay down on your surface to absorb any extra water. So to get started, you'll need to choose about four of them. And just sort of lay them out overlapping and try and line up the, the wide end at the bottom. And then bring them together and at the top where it's more narrow, just tie a piece of your string. Make sure it's fairly tight so that it's not going to come loose when you're when you're um, doing the rest of your doll. And then, so this is we're making the head right now. So you kind of want to peel your corn husks down, sort of like a banana. very gently so you don't rip any of them. And then so this part is going to is going to be the head of your doll. Um, so you kind of want to just arrange your corn husks how you like them, and and tie off. Again, make sure your knot is fairly tight. And there you've got the head of your doll. So next we're going to make the arms. And so I'm going to just find where my corn husk splits. And for this, you'll want a couple of probably smaller pieces. Um, and I'm going to lay them so the wide ends are on the opposite sides um, to kind of help even it out. And there you've got your arms. So find your split again and just kind of push the arms up until they look fairly even. And then we're going to tie it off underneath at your doll's waist. And I'm sure you got a tight knot there so it doesn't come undone. And I'm also going to tie off the ends of the arms to kind of make it look like she's got hands.
There's one. And you can cut off your, your extra string. And there you go, your very own corn husk doll. So if you wanted it to be wearing pants, you could split the corn husks this way and kind of tie them off at the bottoms the same way we did the hands here. Um, and then it'll, then it'll look like uh, pants. So I'm just gonna let her dry for a little while, a few days, and, and then she'll be ready.